Hola amigos, today we're gonna swap the valves on the EMX1 Korg for new JJ's ACC 803S high gain, low microphonics and balance valves and we're gonna do the calibrating process using the famous cable this cable was built according to the instructions in the service manual as you can see here this TSR plug, the standard stereo plug, it's connected in the standard way the tip goes in one of the inner cables then the ring and they are connected to two resistors 2.2 m ohms metal film resistor uh, it has to be one quarter of a watt actually I have this is a resistor that you need to to get it's red red black yellow and brown brown represents the um, it represents the um, the, the no, it's not the precision the um, how accurate the measure is so I choose 1% um, there are smaller ones but I wasn't able to find it there is a 5% version it's not good enough to do a proper calibration test so going back to the diagram the thing is you connect these two resistors they merge on the tip this is a monoaural plug so both of them merge they don't touch at all the shield you need to make sure that there is any type of contact over here so you can purchase this piece in DigiKey and later on I will put the, the description of the of the part um, this is where I got the bulbs I choose the gold version but in reality if you want to save some bucks you can skip that part and I make sure that the triodes were balanced it was low noise and you need to click here if you want them to match which is very very important um, this is to depot and I spent $32 for each one plus delivery so um, what we're gonna do right now is to take the unit well first let me show you how it sounds with the original bulbs uh, for testing we're gonna use Ableton Live I'm using the standard spectrum analyzer and the T-Rax S3 metering uh, suite here you can see I have noise in my system and there's a little bit noise on the right channel but when you produce a sound they are very well balanced I'm not passing any gain to the tubes right now now I'll start building this up then distortion start happening and I haven't even reached half of the of the pot way here it's completely distorted so as you can see you can barely use the full range of, of the valve and I'm half the volume right now at full volume actually I'm maxing out my my meter okay now we turn it off we take the power out from this point and on it's very important that you unplug the audio I have read people that is having uh, problems when they do the, the test and it has to do with not plugging out the audio cables so this is going to be very quick you only have to take the bolts out and oh this may be hot and it's a little bit hot a purist will tell you never touch the the glass with your fingers but let's not be that picky they're very hot and the meanwhile is getting cooler let me go again through the different pieces the cable is a standard a standard cable audio cable two lines inside <clears throat> and the shield so in order to take the bolts out you just take them out by wiggling wiggling a little bit now it's cooler you just wiggle 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 wiggle
first one. It's almost out. There you go. Now, right here inside, you can see two variable resistors. These are the ones that we need to adjust if 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 required. Uh, I don't know if I'm trying to focus the camera there. Mm. Um, okay, they're at the bottom. There, are those two right there. Okay, so now we're gonna put the new valves in. Take them out, not from the pins size. Those ones you never touch it, please. Now, here it comes. We take it out. As you can see, there is a gap here. This gap has to match the, rest, the valve base right there. And then you just push them in. There you go, until they reach the bottom part. Take the next one. Push them in. There you go. Now, we should be proceeding to calibration right now. Then I want to show you how it sounds without the calibration process. Uh, right Let's go to Ablet and Life and turn it on. As you can see now, there is a lack of balance between right channel and left channel. If I go up, it doesn't max out now until I push the, vo the volume a little bit more. But as you can see, these are better harmonics. This is clean, it's very well spaced. The valves are singing. When you see these harmonics, they are singing. That's the characteristic sound of this JJ's <coughs> AO3. So now, actually, if I put a standard pattern. Now, I can turn the, the gain on the valve much more higher without having distortion. But still, I cannot go the full way. is much nicer, much more powerful, but still we cannot go all the way here and I have a little bit of distortion, if I go all the way here I'm having clipping and actually right here, I'm clipping at three quarters of this. So let's do the, the actual process, we turn it off, again it's important that you unplug the audio cables, we turn it back. Now we need to connect the stereo plug to from oh my god that's what the service manual does the stereo plug to phones so phones 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 right here this is this this is the stereo we put it here I make sure that this is right here so it's not making any type of short circuit here and I need to verify that the connection is clean. There is no search here with here. And this one we put it on mic. Mono auto plug of input. And this switch has to be all the way on that direction into mic. Now I need to press erase and step edit while I turn it off. So 
it's a raise right here and step edit right here I turn it on and look at the screen it's gonna say test version and now it's gonna warm up the valves for 154 seconds once it warm up it's gonna try to read how out of phase how out of balance the two valves are and it's gonna give us some readings here now we need to adjust the, the pots Actually, now with this light we can see much better Focusing, focusing. Shit. No, still you can't see them. Actually, are these ones? Mines are black. Actually, here it looks like white. You're gonna find them. Don't worry. They're right at the at the bottom. So right now it's still. Warming up. And as soon as it's finished, we may have or we may not have to adjust the, the pots. Um, important recommendations. If the reading that you get here in the next step is way too big, it's because you're using the wrong type of resistors. There is a, sort, a short circuit here, or you haven't unplugged the audio cables. So just make sure to have it like that. Ah, very good. In the meanwhile, this is going on. We need to set master volume all the way up. The tube gain down to minimal. Audio in level, max. And again, this switch has to go to, to mic. So let me review. Midline, other level max, two main minimum. And here you go. It's 27 seconds, and we will be doing the adjustment. The first time that I did it, I didn't have to adjust anything. The reading was zero. Now I'm getting fives. I don't know why, but we'll see. 15 seconds to go. Well, very quick. Um, something that you cannot do just by adjusting the pots here is to, to normalize the full range. When you adjust the pots, you may be able to balance the output, but then the range is not being compressed to its maximum. That's something that the calibration process does. Okay, take it here. It's asking me to adjust the left valve by zero. This is perfectly well balanced. I have to do anything. So, because this is less than 10, if it's not 10 or, or less, you need to adjust the left valve. That if you're looking the, the the machine from this perspective, left is actually left. This L stands for this left side, not this left side, this left side. When it says R, is this right side when you are looking from this perspective so the reading is zero it's perfect in order to go to the next step you just press the button 16 then you tell me how much I need to adjust the right one there was a little five over there it jumped a little bit now it went back to zero so it's perfect I press 16 here is where a lot of uh, folks are, are getting nine 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 you get nine if you have no resistors here so if you have the right cable this should be it could be 50 but no more than a hundred you need to aim for zero zero or anything less than 10 so it's correct I press the 16 button again press it now it start doing the calculation of the full range it's flashing the firmware and now I will cal calibrate the maximum gain that you can provide to the valve so we open the valve it's ready and now i just push 16 and done the calibration process is done so i only turn off the machine i disconnect i put back mm. 
something very important about the internal resistors. They don't they never turn it more than a quarter of a turn in one direction and a quarter in the other one. Otherwise you may break it. So go very slow and as soon as you find some resistance, stop the movement, otherwise you, you may break them. But uh, if your valves are okay, you shouldn't have to move in much more than a third of a, of a turn on each direction. When you do the turn here, you see how the numbers change. So when you're doing the left valve, which is here, you turn the, the variable resistor and you will see the changes immediately here. Once you get something less than 10, 16, go to the next one, you go to right, do the same, next, and that's done. So we put it back and now we're gonna see the results. We double it on life, turn it on. Ableton, then two. the sound is much more powerful, the sound is much more clean, crispy, and look at this, I have maximum valve, and I'm clipping But now I can go all the way up and the distortion is not that bad. And look at the speed of both valves. They respond with the same speed. When, when you have valves that are not well balanced, they may stop on the same spot but they arrive at different speeds. The speed is very similar between the two of them. So this is perfectly well balanced. You can see in the face how everything is on a straight line. So, I have a very nice sound here. I'm gonna put the, the first pattern that we put. The sound is much nicer. And that's how do you do the calibration of the EMX-1. And that's the story behind the famous cable. Enjoy. Bye.